I was born in Beirut when I was young. The civil war started, which lasted for 50 years. When we start working, we started to do works about the war. But we started to escape from telling what happened during the war. And we started to do artworks that is reflecting on the war and trying to analyze, to understand what happened. So we were not interested to tell about the horrors of the wars. We were much more interested in ideas and questions. For me, theater is always like where I have to provoke myself. So I don't like to provoke audience. I find something that challenging me, is something that makes me afraid of. And when I feel such kind of things, then I would say, okay, now I'm on the right track. The non-academic lecture could be equivalent to what is known as lecture performance. But I prefer not to use performance, because what I do actually is I present a lecture. So there is a form that is taken for granted, like the lecturer, audience, uh, a table. In Sand in the Eyes, I put next to each other two images that contrast each other. This is a photo from a video concerned with terrorism. And this is a still photo from a video concerned with the war on terrorism. One is very, very clear and sharp, actually, which is the terrorist one. And one is blurred from far away, you don't see really. But both of them actually document the act of killing. I work a lot on this idea, where is the border between the subjectivity and objectivity, or like, also between what is fact and how we tell the fact. So it's always an invitation for the audience to be skeptical and to think. Barbarigmos is a work in collaboration with uh, Lina Majdalani, my partner, and uh, with a friend, uh, Mazen Kirbaj, who's uh, an artist and a musician. Mainly it's about our age, about life, also about our relation to our profession. And the only condition that we put to ourselves is that we should not do anything that we used to do before. We had a lot of improvisations together and then we started to put things that are very personal from our lives, our fears. And this has pushed us to go to some other spots that we don't know in theatre and this is what is very interesting for us. In the exhibition, again, we are defeated. The idea, it comes from my experience in my country where like the dead, especially the killed, they don't leave the living. We walk in the streets in Lebanon and you see all the photos of the dead. And I see this image like maybe when they took the corpse, the shadow stays. And then the shadows start haunting our daily life. I wanted them all to be one work, all together, and be the screen that will uh, receive or welcome the shadows that comes from the projector. We had a hope to go for a better future, better country, but every time something happened and it's like wars and wars, and every time we are defeated. Again, we are defeated. But we're still going on with our life, which means that there's still hope. And as the Syrian playwright Sadallah Wanous said, we are condemned to hope. <laughs> <laughs>